Hi guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. I am so excited to show you guys what I picked up from Hermes over the weekend when we went out, when hubby and I went out for our date. Um, I know I say I'm very excited a lot in the beginning of my unboxing videos, but I am genuinely very excited to show you this piece right here. I'm going to show you guys at the very end, but I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from Louis Vuitton. I mean, I think I've been talking about this for a while now. So I got my necklace that is long awaited. And then I got my boots over here. And then, of course, my leather jacket, which you might have seen in the vlog over the weekend. And um, yeah, let's just start with the first piece. The long awaited necklace that I have been talking and complaining about. It finally is here. So... This time she wrapped it up in a very big box. Normally the box that comes in is a smaller version. This is the normal size box that I would normally get for all my necklaces, but um, the manager actually ended up putting it in a bigger box, which I've never seen before, so I'm excited. So let's open. It is the diamond blossom necklace that is, ooh, nice big box. Okay, and then this is the travel dust bag or the travel pouch that you would carry if you were traveling. And then she also gave me a um, an actual like necklace, which has Louis Vuitton back here. It's just for when you travel, you can place your necklace in here. Very neat. So you get one of those. This is actually my first travel pouch that was given to me. So um, my essay wasn't in Dora. She was on vacation. So I was able to pick this up with one of the managers that work there. And are you guys ready? Final reveal. Ta-da! Okay, so this, let me see if it's twisted right there. There you have it. That is the necklace that I have been waiting for since August and it is gorgeous gorgeous okay so what i had did with this was i added the two um, attachments here which makes the necklace a lot longer from a standard 16 inch i believe is a standard um, length size for these necklaces it became a 22 inch I believe so there you have it there's the two extension here um, the issue that I had was um, the chain here wasn't closed properly so it had to be sent back and the first time I picked it up these two um, hooks wasn't added into the, the chain so let me just put it on for you guys and see Okay, there we go. This is the first hook that it's on right now. And it's actually a perfect length if I were to like wear it on its own or add another necklace right in the middle right here. That would be a nice layering piece. And this is so pretty. This is 18 karat gold pendant is actually quite heavy. It has a good weight to it. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad I got this back. It was back in August when I bought this and I can finally wear it now. It is just so pretty. Glad I was patient enough to wait for it. I was getting a little antsy at the very end, but, um, but yeah, glad I did. So let's move on to this shoe box right here. These are the boots that I had pre-ordered about three, four weeks ago. This is just the receipt. And let me show you what color I ended up taking home <laughs> because there were two colors. So let me show you the boots before I tell you guys the backstory of these boots. Um, okay, these are super warm and cute for the fall. They are these boots right here. We well, forgot what they're called, but um, the black ones are the ones that I end up taking home because I had a couple of issue with the brown ones. They came in two colors, the black and the browns. And um, originally I did 
purchased these and then when hubby saw the brown one he's like why don't you just exchange the color because the brown one were a lot nicer and i was like really and i just somehow ended up choosing the browns and then dora had brought in two pairs the first pair um had a really distinctive like line in the middle i'll show you guys a picture of it um but yeah it kind of looked like a chipmunk you know the the line when they have the white and the brown so it kind of had like that one distinctive line right in the middle of the shoe and that's all i could notice so the second pair ended up being a little bit better but it was a lot smaller than um the first pair which is crazy because they're both the same size so long story short i ended up getting the original ones that i had bought these were the ones that were um originally sent to the store for me and luckily they were still available that day because i still really like both colors so i guess the browns weren't meant to be and the black were so yeah they're super comfy this is in a size 37 and um honestly it fits perfectly no issue with these no lines in the middle and um i'll spray probably a protective like rainproof on it before i actually do wear them to protect the suede and let me see if there is a name on this but um, i'll link everything in the description box just in case you guys are curious about the prices and the name and the style so it will be in the description so next we have the macaj leather jackets um this jacket i have been waiting a few years actually to find the perfect oversized leather jacket and finally they came out with this style this year and um it is super comfortable nicely oversized this is an extra small i tried on two sizes i tried on an extra small and a small the small was a little too oversized it just looked really baggy and loose on me so the extra small is what i went with and it has it's stitched in a way that is oversized so you don't really have to go two sizes up to make the jacket look oversized that's why i went with the extra small i love this jacket you guys like this is the perfect oversized leather jacket that is out there i think anyways because i've seen quite a few and, and i've tried on a few over the last few years but i never really bought any because it wasn't the right one and macar just makes the nicest leather jacket i love how the sleeves are a little bit loose on the arms and fitted at the bottom so it has that relaxed look um yeah this is a jacket that i've been waiting for for a few years i'm so glad that um i found it I do have two of their other leather jackets, but those ones are more um, fitted and it's a little bit shorter and it's tight throughout the arm, which is a little uncomfortable at times. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that they came out with a looser, relaxed fit. Now on to Hermes. I'm so excited to show you guys what's in this box right here. So when hubby and I went out last weekend, um, we did plan to go to Hermes because I wanted to put a deposit down or place an order for a Kelly bracelet that was on my wish list. So we did that and it's, um, it's a very pretty bracelet. It's a Kelly bracelet with the diamonds in the front, but instead of a solid, um, I guess, bangle, it is a chain version. So I'll put a picture up so you guys have an idea of what it looks like. Um, so it's going to take about six months, maybe less, depending on the shipment and the fulfillment center. Um, I know she said that um, normally it takes about four to six months. We'll see how long it actually takes. So we did that and it took about 10 minutes to have everything processed. And during that processing time, I had briefly mentioned if she had any um, wallet on chain available and she said, which one? And I was like, how about a Kelly to go, um, a classic? And she's like, okay, which color would you like? So I told her I wanted something neutral, like maybe a gold on gold, which is a brown with gold hardware or a lime yellow, like that beautiful bright lime color with gold hardware or white or um, cream anything along those lines and she's like okay well i only have one on my hand right now because um every associate is offered one 
to give to their clients and she's like i think this one might be a good fit for you and, and i'm like oh okay what color it is and she's like it's blue but i haven't seen the blue um and it's also an exotic piece i was like "Ooh, exotic i wasn't sure what exotic meant i knew it was something like crocodilian but i i was hoping that it wasn't the full like you know croc because those are very expensive with for you know what it is essentially is a wallet with a strap so it's like a crossbody it's like a wallet on chain right so i didn't want an all croc wallet on chain and i was like oh i hope it's not and she's like no no i think it's it it's classy and it's special because this piece is hard to come by after she told me the story of how each associate is given you know special pieces to be offered to their client i get why it's so hard to get the kelly's and the birkins or even the constant it's just hard to get you know especially in vancouver vancouver i think it's one of the toughest markets here along with chanel i think that if you have a good connection you're very lucky so but anyways that is the story so we went back upstairs we sat down and she brought the box out she had her gloves on the plastic wrap was still on it she even had her like plastic cutter to cut open the wrapping it was so it was kind of like a special moment for some reason i was a little nervous to be honest because i didn't know what kind of color she was bringing out to show me so she brought out this this color which is a blue i'm going to show you what kind of blue it is in just a moment i was like when i first saw it i was like it's blue blue hmm can i do blue that's what i was thinking in my head and then hubby was like that's a really nice blue because he loves blue so he's like get it right away he's like get it you don't need to think about it so let me show you what kind of blue it is okay are you ready paper is so crisp oh my goodness okay ready Ta -da! look at that blue i believe this blue is called blue frida i was trying to look online and i was trying to read my receipt but it doesn't really tell you what kind of blue it is but i believe if if I'm wrong, please correct me. It is blue Frida or Frida. Um, so yeah, this is the Kelly to go. So let me just take the felt off for you. So this is the little Kelly buckle that I love. I can't see what I'm doing because I am blocking myself. Okay, so take that out. Felt. And inside... It is stuck. Oh, there we go. I took off the little plastic. So we have the felt. This is the strap that goes onto the side of the bag. And it also has a little like protective for the lock. So it has two pockets, card slots, I should say, and then a zipper in the middle, and then two more card slots. And that's pretty much it. It does fit your phone. Um, I didn't even try it on at the store because I was looking at the blue and the detailing on the strap here is just amazing. If this was just a regular blue with just plain Epson leather, this is Epson by the way, um, I would have never gotten it because it just looked like a blue, you know, wallet pretty much. So with this strap, it just makes a huge difference. You know, it's so pretty and so elegant and the croc just runs all the way to the back. This is the back. I love this blue. I never thought in a million years I would ever buy or mention this blue at all. But honest, it's such a nice pop-up color. I'm actually just going to put the strap. Where did I put the strap? Over here. So the strap is in this dust bag right here. It goes into the little strap and then it just push it down. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, it's fairly tight. Am I doing it on the right side? You know, honestly, I wish the strap was also croc. 
that would be amazing if they did that but um yeah i had it wrong so there we go that is with the strap like that and honestly i'm 5'3 and it fits perfectly on my hips so this is like the perfect length i am just so happy that i said yes at the store i knew if i didn't get this it would be gone for sure this is not a quota bag but i feel like because it is a exotic piece it's harder to get you can technically walk into hermes and ask for a kelly to go but depending on their um color and selection you might not even be offered one of these i was lucky enough to be shown this and i'm extremely extremely happy for this color and the style it also has the um stamp the square stamp which um tells you that it is an exotic bag let me see what the specs are it's an alligator mississippian sis Yes, it's a very long name. <laughs> a common name of species is an alligator American and um, export and permit number. It has everything here. So when I am traveling, I was told that I have to bring this or take a picture of it along with my seat receipt to show um, proof of purchase just because um, these are protected and they don't want you bringing in undeclared goods especially when it's from a species like an alligator for example so by looking at the date of issue it takes a long time for one piece of exotic animal skin to be exported and imported into the country so date of issue is actually 2017 for this little strap just the strap, not the bag, the strap. So it does take a while for this to be processed. And then the date of issue is 2018. So this is, you know, it has some years on it, even though it's like brand new. Um, but I am so in love with this blue, you guys. This is like, you know, blue does look good on me. I can say that with confidence now because I was never a blue person but after this I think um, blue may be one of my new favorite colors <laughs> let's take the sticker off together I'm gonna peel it off because this is not going back so shiny so that is one and there's also one here it's a little smaller so it's harder <laughs> there we go Second, oh, it's so shiny without the plastic wrap. And this part right here says Hermes Paris on it, which is really cute. Um, and then I think that is it. Let me see if it actually fits my phone and my keys in here. So I have my phone, my keys, my Calvi card holder, and one lipstick right here on the side, lip gloss. Let's see if it fits. There we go. It was a little bit of a struggle putting the, the straps on, but it does fit. There you have it, you guys. This is the Kelly to go. I'm going to share the price with you guys just because I know Hermes is is a little mysterious in terms of prices of their bags. Um, when you look it up online, you know, this is not available to, to even be seen online. They're hard to get your hands on. They're hard to look up. So for those who are curious, this is not bragging on how much everything costs, but it's for your information only. This particular one in Canadian is $6,600 before tax. So compared to Chanel, I think it's definitely worth the, the money and the investment because from a reseller standpoint, it is a double the price. So I know I was just looking at one just to see what the price ranges were. Um, one of the top reseller in Japan was selling a black with gold hardware, all Epson leather, um, was $9,000. So with this, it's a croc and it's you know half the price pretty much but yeah that is what i got over the weekend this is precious thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video